the street way of changing oil. You know how to put a floor jack on the car to lift up and place jack stands? No? You may want to check the other videos out. I'm going to get underneath the car, but I'm going to show you quickly how to jack it up, put the stands on, and get underneath, get that oil out, and get on the road before I can edit and finish this video. It should take you 15 minutes to do an oil change, but some may take hours on end. Let's get right to it. This car in the center where the floor jack is at, I'm lifting. I always try to put a chalk. Many get confused where jack points are at. They're located right there. Lower the car, but real slow. Look at the points. Make sure you're on. This has to go back some. That's just to show you how mistakes can be made. Check the floor. Put a blanket down. Get a screwdriver, JS3s, get a 10 millimeter wrench, get whatever you need to take all your things off for the splash guard. That's your filter. That's your plug. People take this on and off with their hands. People take this on and off with a torque wrench. This is my Pittsburgh Harbor Freight container. Why they make a hole so small is beyond me, but it does the job. This hole should have been a lot bigger, maybe a little higher, maybe a splash thing. There's a lot we can do. It goes back there. Grab yourself your tools you need now. 17 millimeter wrench, lefty loosey on the thing. I'm gonna have trouble the older I get, the harder I do things. Now, I got the right tool, I just can't see anymore. My glasses fall off, my hat's in my way. best you can always wear gloves man gloves no matter what even when you pick your nose go into the garden do your best to get it in there here we go That's all the oil that comes out. You can see here, you get all the oil in there, or just simply allow more to come out so you feel that you're comfortable with this type of uh, thing. Don't have to be super fast. People love to take their time. That's how you flow oil. Slow. You ever get stuck? You grab yourself the biggest tool you got. And you're able to get your filter off. It's really that simple to do. Sometimes you have troubles. Sometimes you don't. And that's why you wear gloves. I got my filter, I'll put it back on, all hand tight man, that's it, spin it, and when it finishes spinning, that's it, you're done, just like that, make sure you got a crush washer on, make sure this is tight, make sure this is hand tight, all clean, go edge, oil, oh no, I don't know if I got my oil, but I gotta go add oil. OW20 SAE for this car.
probably one of the best oil changes ever in my life where I ran into troubles. And the reason why you run into troubles is because the car is cold, you're going to have problems. I already marked my oil down and I empty it out and I take my measurements correctly on the side. I got now the sun beaming in my eyes, hopefully it's beaming in yours as well. That's it. That's how quickly, easily it is to do an oil change. Go run your car, 3.2 minutes, however minutes you want. And then make sure this cap goes on, it don't go on, all your oil comes out. Check your dipstick. Good luck in trying to read an orange dipstick six years later. I don't have to show you all how to start a car. We're good. That's it. You're done. The worst oil changes. No, not one of the worst. It's just, this is how you teach people what not to do wrong. And when you do things wrong, you're gonna run into trouble. Your safety is first. You chalk the wheels. You use the floor jack. You use jack stands. You use the proper tools. You make sure the car is always warmed up way before you do an oil change or you're going to have a stuck bolt, a stuck filter, and troubles in trying to figure out what you're doing wrong. This is the first oil change I have done like this in a very long time. And I hope you get the idea of how to do your oil in a very simple way. You watch the very first videos of me taking my time doing the first oil change ever and you'll learn a lot but everybody is going to pick on the fine details of a video and they are the people you want to do your oil change with those perfectionists i'm fish i am the oil king and i catch you on many other oil videos down the road have a great day everybody All right, I'll never leave you stranded. I always try to give you the information and I can't see what the hell I'm doing. I had this thing fixed to where it stays on here and I'm looking for settings. Oh man, vehicle. Oh man, I go all the way down to the very bottom. maintenance information oil select all no engine oil if you do all you're going to change everything in your car and do it at a later time so now my next oil change will be b have a great day